Bar played a major role in both Champions League last 16 clashes on Wednesday night. Firstly, at the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium, referee Felix Zweier initially gave a penalty to Atletico Madrid when Diego Costa was brought down by Juventus's match of Asiglio. However, after consulting VAR, Zweier correctly awarded a free kick instead. Then, in the second half, Alvaro Morata had a header ruled out because he was adjudged to have pushed Giorgio Cellini in the back. That was an example of the technology being used to perfection. However, over in Jules Senkerchen, VAR wasn't used quite as well. Manchester City were 1-0 ahead against Shaki when Daniel Caligiuri's shot was blocked by Nicolas Otamendi's hand. It took a ridiculous 4 minutes and 26 seconds for the officials to finally decide that Shaki should be awarded a penalty as a result. If it was taking so long, why didn't referee Carlos Del Cerro Grande go over to look at the pitch side monitor himself? Well, it was revealed at halftime that the screen wasn't actually working meaning the ref couldn't go over and make a decision. Wow.how ridiculous is that? In the end, many believe that the correct decision was eventually made and Nabil Bentaleb equalized for Shaki. The home side were then awarded another penalty with VAR, again, confirming the final decision. Bentaleb stepped up once again and put Shaki 2-1 ahead at before the break. Things got worse for City in the second half when Otamendi picked up a second yellow card and was dismissed. But Leroy Sane came to the rescue with a quite incredible free kick to make it 2-2 with just minutes remaining. And then Raheem Sterling completed the comeback with a 90th minute winner. An OT bad with 10 men. Get Man City latest news updates directly to your inbox. Subscribe. Thank you for subscribing.